champion Paul Eric Hoyer Larsen of Denmark and Rashid Sidek of Malaysia. We join the match in the opening game. Sidek is serving 1 7 down. Well, we saw him thunder down many of those smashes yesterday. And we mentioned then how accurate he is with his smash. Probably not one of the most powerful. a little bit one at eight. that particular shot. Good crowd in here today. Always difficult in an auditorium that holds as many as 9,000 people to judge exactly how many there are, but two sides are just about full. We're definitely looking at three or 4,000 people. Nothing like as big as Sadek might get used to in Malaysia, where the sport is on a different level. Absolutely. In fact, I've been in Stadium Nagara in Kuala Lumpur when it's been absolutely packed and there must have been at least 15,000. So he'll be... And those are the ones that pay for their seats. <laughs> absolutely. Well, he's doing what he wants to do now, isn't he? Is Nine there anything that Sadek can do apart from attrition to take Hoyer Larsen out of his winning game plan? Well, I'm really not sure. I mean, it's a $64,000 question, but. I perhaps would like to see Rashid Sadek trying to attack more into the body of Paul Eric. Paul Eric is so good at changing angles and stretching out wide, he can flick it cross court. And I sometimes feel that when he isn't given the freedom by the smash being directed straight into him, then uh, perhaps he struggles a little bit more. So Sadek needs to put the straight jacket on. a few more of those one, nine. right off the tape little fortunate but still one nine down Interesting, Sadek really pressurizing Paul Eric Coyer's backhand. going to the Hoyer Larson forehand side. He certainly found the length going to the backhand side, like you said. taking this one so early on his backhand, cutting it down across court.
just superb. The master tactician at work. Pressurise the backhand side as soon as he's pulled out of position. Force it down the forehand for an outright winner. Rashid needs to just try and play himself into the match. Probably this game is beyond salvage. Seven times a finalist at the All England between 82 and 89, four times a winner. A great Dane, if ever there was one. Hoyer Larsen attempting to win his second All England in a row. He's Frost's pupil. And I think Morton will be a little concerned about the run that Sadek is on now, although still 12 6 down. Six, 12. Intelligent. Badminton brain he had. So he's over at 12 6. Boy Larson's play has kept the crowd largely out of this as a factor so far. He'd like to continue that. Superb. Again, changing from forehand attack, then to the backhand. Always making his opponent change direction. Fourteen game point six. And now the game point, first game of this All England final. faces adversity in a much more calm manner after the birth of Lassie last year after he won the first All England his first All England perhaps slightly off balance Paul Eric when he tried to hit that smash So game point number two for Hoyer Larson. Game. And that's it for defending champion Paul Eric Hoyer Larson pleases his fans. He's one up on Rashid Sadek. So first blood to Denmark. We now rejoin the match in the second game and Hoyer Larsen has again taken a seven love lead. Well, 
Love seven, Sadek so must love seven. get a couple on this sequence. And perhaps wisely from the Malaysian's point of view, he takes his time to change the shuttle, just recompose his thoughts. Definitely trying to play at a faster pace. to allow a towel down and a drink and a singles than a doubles, Jill? Well, perhaps I think that uh, really it's all part of the game of badminton and uh, I think the players should be allowed to take water on board as often as is required. But if they're deliberately trying to break up the game, then of course that should be stopped. Sadek just has no idea which direction the shuttle is going to come next. Most players would have played seven, a straight seven, drop seven, there. Just wondered if perhaps Paul Eric looked a little bit too relaxed on that shot. But it's a game that ebb and flows, badminton, and the concentration has to be maintained, or three or four points can disappear quickly. Two the average match probably lasting about 35 or 40 minutes, perhaps 45. Yes, that's right. I think certainly for uh, men's singles, 40, 45 minutes. Ladies' singles, of course, a bit shorter because they only play to 11 points. for the Malaysian. Took on Paul Eric at the net. Three, seven. And one of the few players to beat him in that area. Off the top of the tape. Four, and suddenly Hoyer misses a couple. Sadek plays well, the crowd rise. And if the momentum is going to change, perhaps this is it.
pulled short, wasn't he, Jill? And Sadek saw his opportunity. And where he maybe wasn't executing quite so well in the first game, he is now. Service over, 4-8. I think you're right. I think it, that probably the first time that Paul Eric has really been stretching for to retrieve a shot. And uh, certainly I feel that Rashid Sadek needs to be trying to command the rallies more, dictate the pace. 4-8. But he took the risk, didn't he, Sadek? He took the risk of being powerful, being strong, playing his game, and, like you said earlier, Jill, right at Hoyer. Seven to six eight. That's what they're excited about. That's too deep, my Lawson. We'll serve at eight six. down the line but you just can't see it's a drop wrist isn't it Nine, six. that's right it, it's really just the angle I mean it's it's not that powerful that smash isn't landing that far back in court but how he gets it down so steeply I just don't know Ten, six. that was a top class lead and there is such a thing. He was it a top class call? I think it was a good call, just a fraction out. into twisting and turning like a snake just to stay with Hoyer in these rallies. I was watching Sadek during the rally. His movement was back, forward, sideways, low and high. And Hoyer was dictating. It's now 11-6, second game. Well, oh, he can smell victory now. Pushing the shuttle deep and high, 13, immediately six. clipping it down across court. Well, this is it. Hoya Larson. Championship point. The moment of victory for Paul Eric Hoyer Larson. He defends his title. It was Fleming Dell in the 1970s. In the 80s, it was Morton Frost. Now, Paul Eric Hoyer Larson. It's rare to see such an intensity out there and so well controlled 
and his moment of victory a moment Match to relish absolutely as you say GP superb seven, control 15, and what a win Poya Larson men's singles champion at the all England Open Badminton Championships for the second year in a row